Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in for today's video, I have for you a almost full face of Wet n Wild products. So I say it's almost full face because I have to use a different brow products. I have brow mascara, brow pencil, and brow pomade that's not from Wet n Wild. And also my lashes is not from Wet n Wild. And I have to incorporate with primer for priming my face because my face is just so dry and I feel like my face makeup would be cakey or if I don't incorporate another such primer. But I still have a primer that's from Wet n Wild so I just want to put that out there. So yeah, I am so excited to film this video finally because it's been such a long time. So with that being said, let's go to dance and jump into the video. Alright guys, to begin with, let's go ahead and jump into our eyes. Let's go ahead and prime our eyes. By the way, I have my lemon water here to just kind of like refreshing us because I, I'm always thirsty all the time. So I tried to be healthy at least more. Ah, so good. And for today's primer, I'm going to use the the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. I already um, tested these products out so I know how they feel already. This is not my first time I use this. In this primer, I would say that I love my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I like that one better than this just because this one is kind of like has a sticky feeling on it. It does dry a little faster so once you put it in your eyelids, you have to really really blend it right away. It has like a tacky sticky feel on it. I don't know if the others talk about that but that's just my personal opinion about this particular primer but it does um, do a good job for the eyeshadow. So for today's eyeshadow I am going to use the Wet n Wild 10 pan color eyeshadow palette. This is in a shade road say in the air. I'm gonna use my um, Wet n Wild crease brush for my crease and I am going to go ahead and dip into this first shade I'm gonna use is this one the lightest shade in the pan so let's just go ahead and put that into our crease this eyeshadow palette is just five bucks I think even though uh, it's, it's a little powdery it doesn't bother me I heard a lot of nice um, reviews about this eyeshadow I think even from last year when they first came out so you know, I mean, Wet n Wild have a good um, eyeshadow products. People talk about these eyeshadows really, really good. They blend like a dream, and they're just awesome. And they are worth worth within your box. Next shade I'm gonna pick in the pan is going to be that top shade right there for my transition shade. So this is my first time, by the way, using this um, eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna change my mind, guys. The second shade I am going to use is this brown shade right here. It's not brown, but it looks kind of like lightish, dark, bird brownish, like that in the pan. So yeah. So just so you know guys, I already did my brows, so I'm just gonna link everything down below for my brows that I use. I'm not gonna mention the product because just for the sake of the video, this is wet and wild video. <laughs> At least I tried to. So using a smaller blending brush from Murphy, I am going to use the M506 brush and I am going to pick up this shade next to it to kind of like deep in the crease area. So going back to the palette, I am going to use this red shade down here. It's kind of like burgundy or I don't know how to describe that color but it's in the family of red. <laughs> Thank you. 
going back to this shade i'm gonna use this on top like the burn orange and kind of like concentrate her on the top of the crease Now using this flat shader brush from Wet n Wild, spray my brush um, and I am going to pick that shimmer shade right here, this one here and I'm going to put that in, in the middle of the crease. Going back to this brush right here, I'm going to go back again and so yeah, I I know um, this is gonna look muddy, but I'm trying my best, and we don't judge in this channel. And I know that once I put my eyelashes on everything is gonna like transform i hope so fingers crossed all right so after that let's go ahead and put the eyeliner on the top lash no top lash line with that i am going to use the wet and wild pro line felt tip liner so that's how it looks like and the tip looks like this Clearly, I am no pro. <laughs> Alright, but that's okay. I just want to put this out there. I want to be honest with you guys. Putting my eyeliner on, doing my eyebrows is such a struggle to me. I feel like it's so difficult. Like, it's so challenging for me. So, um, I can work better, I would say, with the longer... Um, eyeliner like this this one is kind of short as you can see i hope that this like eyeliner is a little bit longer the fill tape eyeliner i can tell that this is just such a blessing because i cannot do i try to learn and god help me <laughs> with a tube liquid liner i tried very very i would say 50 times already try to work on with that liquid liner it's not gonna work for me i don't know how to do it but this one here with a fill tip liner that i can do finally my eyeliner especially on my top the bottom is not a problem but the top liner that well my eyelashes fake lashes go such a challenge step for me yeah if you are also one of like have a challenge in putting your eyeliner on let me know down in the comments below so you're not alone. So moving on guys, let's go ahead and um, put a eyeliner onto our bottom lashes. And for that, I am going to use this um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeliner. This one I like because it's such has a very, very nice and look at that glide. Formula of this um, eyeliner is so good. It's so creamy. Alright, so after that guys, I'm going to go ahead and curl my original lashes and then I'm gonna pop some fake lashes on. And today I am going to use the Wet n Wild Max Panathic Mascara. So by the way guys, for my lashes today, I am going to use this um, Kiss Lash couture triple push up lashes so this is in a style brushier or brushier and please don't judge me if i said it wrong <laughs> yeah and i am going to use this kiss strip lash adhesive glue this is one of my favorite so yeah i'm gonna pop this babies on the eyes and i am going to see you in a few Alright, so guys, now my lashes is on. It's time for us to move ahead and do the skin. So first of all, I always prime my skin, like pre-moisturize. But still, I am going to use the Red and Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer. That's how it looks like. Let's go ahead and prime our skin. 
she's actually running low I love this coconut water they're just that good so guys that's what I've said from the beginning I also use my Catrice goodbye poreless blur primer this is what I said that I am going to incorporate with in this video I'm just gonna pop this primer into my t-zone after that I am going ahead and use this wet and wild photo focus water drop primer I love the coconut smell as what it says it is like a water-based primer which is true it's just glide in your skin so smooth so after priming my face i have to go ahead and color correct as for this moment i don't have color corrector from wet and wild so i am just going to use the one that i have in here on hand and i am going to use this la girl pro concealer in this orange corrector and the green corrector and i just pop this orange under my eye I know I put a lot on this side, but we'll just roll with it. So I am actually just gonna head and um, cover this corrector with the Wet n Wild concealer right there. This is in a shade medium tawny. Let's go ahead and blend this out using this Wet n Wild sponge. Lashes is popping out. All right, guys. So let me fix these lashes, and I'm gonna be back. All right, guys. So I already fixed these lashes. Now let's go ahead and continue the face. And for today, I am going to use the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the shade Amber Beige. So yeah, um, I like this foundation. Love the formula as well. So with my blending sponge, let's just bounce her into the skin. So after I blend the foundation in the face, I am going to go ahead and put in my concealer. Alright, now to set my under eye, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focused Loose Setting Powder. So let me just focus there in the shade Banana. Well, let me just put this one in my under eye. Alright guys, so after dusting off that powder, I'm going to go ahead and bronze the skin. I am going to use Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzer. This is in the shade Ticket to Brazil. Kind of like deep into that thing. And By the way, I'm using my Japanese powder brush. I found this in TJ Maxx. Definitely check your local TJ Maxx for some good deals. So after bronzing the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and use my blush and I am going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon, this Mellow Wine Blush. It's kind of like warm, kind of like warm tone blush. So for today's highlights, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow High Lightning Gold Bar. This is the shade Holy Gold Head. And I'm going to use, this is the Wet n Wild High Lightning Brush.
for my brow mascara, I'm going to use the NYX um, brow mascara. And this is in the shade black. This highlighter shade, I am actually going ahead and I put that in the brow bone. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it. And to set our face, I'm gonna go ahead and use again my coconut primer water. So I did this step also while your face is kind of like wet. Get that highlight to kind of like level up. <laughs> So hey guys, this is not a final and completed look. By the way, I was actually filming like my final clip and I said, oh my god, I forgot my lip step. So I'm like, I am clearly not myself. But yeah, I will just want to mention the lip product that I use from Wet n Wild. So this one, the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So let's go ahead and talk about the lip liner. So lip liner that I used today was from Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. This is the shade Lay Down the Mobs. So I'm going to show you how creamy this lip liner is. This is really worth getting, like worth the money. I love this lip liner. And then next is I have the Wet n Wild Liquid Cut Suit Liquid Lipstick. I recommend for you to put like a gloss on top of your lips or either before you apply this, you apply first like a lip balm underneath on this particular product because it's really drying. So for me, I have a very dry skin. I don't like a tacky feeling. I don't like a dry feeling. So I always like moisturize my lips first or like put some balm and make it moisturized. So definitely for me, I can tell right away that this is not gonna be like a long wearing lipstick for me. So yeah, um, but overall, I love all the products that I use here. Wet n Wild has a really good and balm products and they just kill it when it comes to their eyeshadows i think this is like the really really nice product that they also come up with and the primer also both primers i love especially these coconut ones i am going to repurchase this and the sponge the brushes actually the brushes the crease brushes i have a couple of them they are just worth the money they are really really good for the eyes so i even have a couple of these ones in here and i am still obsessed so we are going strong with this one i like wet and wild brand because i think they can create a good products and that is worth the money i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am very excited and yeah let me know down in the comments below of what you think about the look as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for you will get notified every time i upload a video that's all i have for y'all for today and i hope you have a great time you will have a great weekend so i will see you on my next video bye